Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? I hope you're having an amazing day because guess what? I am. I want to share something that happened yesterday that just still got me smiling because it was such a sweet moment. Uh, my daughter has been wanting to go uh, pink because she's like a pink girl for the longest time. And she's going back to school in two weeks. So um, she decided to start looking a couple days ago for a salon that could bring her from a beautiful dark brown hair to pink. And we started looking, she made an appointment, it didn't work out. And then it's like, yesterday we're looking and nobody's gonna do hair um, color on, on a Saturday, all these things, right? So um, I've been thinking, since I've been doing hair for the last, I don't know, 20 years? God, yeah, last 20 years, um, maybe more. The last 30 years, actually. And I do my own hair, I take care of my hair from beginning to end. So quietly, with the softest voice ever, I said, what if mama did it? You know, like I was so like worried that she will reject me, that she will say, no, how dare you? And then she's like, yeah, do you think you can do it? And I said, yeah, I can do it. So we embark on this journey, we go to Sally's, we buy all the things, we have a blast, an afternoon of like playing, and just I just love doing hair, I could just love it. And um, we did the first phase yesterday, which was, um, we did the bleaching in a beautiful way that just protected her hair. And then uh, we did a shampoo that deposited some color just to see what the, what the job was like. And today, we'll do the second part. And then while I'm doing her hair and it's coming out beautifully, we're doing in batches, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, mom, is there anything that you cannot do? And I was like, oh, love her so much. And then she said, I didn't ask you because I thought that it was gonna be too much and you, I know how you really like to enjoy your time off and your downtime. And I'm like, well, I didn't tell you because I thought you might not want to do, want me to do it. So we both wasted time looking for someone else to do it when the answer was right in front of us. So I, if I may suggest, try not to overcomplicate things. Say what you mean mean what you say, ask for what you want, and let things fall where they may fall. Maybe the person will say yes, maybe the person will say no. You'll never know if you don't ask. Don't presume to know how they're feeling, what they want, what they wanna do, what they don't wanna do. Just ask and be free to receive whatever the answer is because you might be surprised and see and realize that things always work out for you.